today we're going to run through compression height on pistons. So basically that's the dimension between the center line of the gudgeon pin and the crown of the piston. What we've got here is quite a range of pistons that we stock and we'll run you through, tell you what they do and what they're for. These are what we call standard height pistons. So from the center line of the gudgeon pin to the crown is standard 1.498 inch and a half. We do 20, 40, 60, 73 and a half. You'll notice that there are a few different crowns on these pistons. Some are flat top, some are dished. We keep various options there. Next one is a strange piston. It's a 1.426 compression height. So as you'll see, it's slightly shorter than this one but not a lot, only 70 odd thou. Now this particular piston is made for either an 84 millimeter crankshaft or an 86 using standard length 5.750 conrods. So that's the one you want for that. This batch now, these are a special and these are a 1.248. This is a quarter of an inch shorter than this one. These pistons are designed to work with the MED six inch conrod. We've made the conrod a quarter of an inch longer. We've made the piston a quarter of an inch shorter between the center line of the pin and the crown of the piston. And if you look at a standard one compared to this, you can visibly see the difference. And these come in the various crowns. So you've got a dish, you've got a flat top, and we do them in plus 20, 40, 60, and 73.5. The other use that people put these pistons to is if they're not allowed to run the six inch conrod, they will use these pistons and then machine the extra quarter of an inch off the top of the block. Final one in the batch is this little one. This is a special that we've developed for the 86 millimeter crankshaft running a six inch rod. So now you've got a quarter of an inch shorter because of the six inch rod and even shorter still because of the long stroke crankshaft. And as you'll see with this one, if we turn it up compared to a standard piston, there's your difference. Let's spin him over there. That is how much shorter it is. If you look at the gudgeon pin, you will see there's a massive difference of almost 400 thou. We're now going to show you how to measure the compression height, just in case you want to check your pistons at home. So here you go. Get your vernier caliper, zero it off, pop the gudgeon pin out. These are 18 millimeter pins in these pistons. So we go 707, we're 708 near enough. So half of 708 is 354, so 0.354 plus, then we're going to measure from the inside of the piston pin bore to the crown. It's going to be a little bit awkward on these because this is a not a flat top piston so you've got to be very very careful so 758 759 so plus 0.759 equals 113 okay i can't get it to within a thou because i'm only measuring it roughly so you can see you're measuring half the diameter of the pin plus the dimension from the inside of the pin bore to the crown, add the two together, and that obviously will be enough to identify which piston you have if you want to give us a call to see if we've got what you require. 1113, we should have been 1115, but it's as close as you're gonna get unless you've got something a little bit more accurate to measure it with. Right, now obviously we've talked about compression heights of pistons. We're just gonna show you quickly the different conrods that we keep. What you'll see here are three conrods in different lengths. If I put a straight edge along there, can you see? So what you've got is the standard stock length, which is 5.750. You've got the old 970 Cooper S length, which is 5.875. And then you've got the latest long rod for the short compression height pistons, which is six inch. The easiest way to determine which rods you've got is to measure it from the split line on the big end to the center line of the little end. If we do a rough 
one here look we'll put the vernier across there we'll pull it up to halfway across the big end which is a bit there you go so you get it within five thou we've got 5.755 it should be seven 5.750 so this one is a standard length rod okay now we'll check this one which is on the center line again which is about there so again, should be 5.875 with 581, so it's six thou out on that one. Okay, and this one again, this one should be six inch. So we'll centre line it up. There we go. Centre, centre. There you go, 6.003, should be 6.000, so three thou. So there you have it. There's your variation in pistons. There's your variation in conrods. they listed below you'll see there are other videos with related subjects. So take a look at those, away you go.